I've had plastic surgery, but it was botched. Is there a way to create a scenario via visual, visualization, et cetera, where I'm satisfied with my appearance? Well, absolutely is the answer there. First of all, there's an interesting thing there about plastic surgery. There's, a, there's labels on that. So there might be guilt or judgment involved in that. So just pay attention. I would love to know why you had the plastic surgery to begin with and was it motivated from a blissful state of being from the inside out? Did you want like this vibrant, healthy, happy body to look even better on the outside and you were going at it from a joyful perspective? Was it something fun in your experience of life to experience? Or was there a degree of judgment that begot that? So say you were somebody who had all your life um, tell you you had a big nose or, or big jaw or something. So we'll settle on the nose. People all your life made fun of you or critical of you and you were highly sensitive of this and then you decide to go get an operation. Can you feel the disconnect that you're getting the operation from? You're trying to feel better about something that feels really bad by changing things on the outside before you connect on the inside. So when say an operation goes awry, a botched operation like you said you had, then just notice that we are on a trajectory in our bliss body or not, if we're not aligned with our bliss body. When we're being critical or judgmental of ourselves or others or listening to criticism or judgment from other people, then that means that our trajectory is a little bit low lying. Our bliss body is on a Flast high flying trajectory all the time. Super sonic, super no obstacles in sight trajectory. And it, it is motivated by joy and further joy. So if you're looking at this kind of a procedure, again, through the eyes of, wow, always wanted to have a sweet looking nose and I feel like these opportunities synchronously put themselves in alignment. I found the greatest surgeon, somebody else who I know that had a large nose is super happy with this. I'm just feeling like I want to jump in. Chances are really, 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 really good that you're going to have a very successful and happy experience of this and a wonderful, easy recovery because feel the energy around it. You're aligned with your bliss body. If on the other hand, you're nervous and scared, but you wanna do this because it's your only way out of a painful situation because people are always judging you and, and you're not feeling as though you're good enough and this new thing is gonna make all the difference in the world for you, but it's from the outside in, pay attention because you want to get to a place where you're super happy and thrilled about whatever you're gonna do first before you do it. It's the same way as I would say to somebody, look, don't think leaving a job that you hate is gonna make you get into a better job that you don't hate. You change your energy around it. You get satisfied and feel complete with where you are, and then you can jump into a new experience from there. That's a nice springboard. But when you're feeling this lack or problem or pain within you, and then you address it from there, mm, you're addressing lack, problem, and pain from pain, you get further pain. It's the trajectory you're on. So again, don't blame yourself for this experience. I'm, I'm just highlighting this so that you, if you would like to get yourself to be satisfied with your appearance, that's a great motivation. You want to go to the place now where you start looking from the inside out, what the divine could have in store for you next that would make you feel so strong and so connected that your nose or whatever part of your body that you had the surgery on that was botched is neither here nor there. Then watch the circumstances change. Watch a new surgeon show up. Watch new people tell you what to do. Watch that things come out of nowhere miraculously that help you feel aligned because inside you're feeling aligned now. That opens the door on all of the path physically for the, the answers to show up here and now. Always happens inside out, inside out, aligned or not, connected or not. If we're not, then we're going to experience time and time again, we're not connected. The botched 
surgery will turn into another botched surgery and another, and you'll be thinking, oh, I hate these surgeons. What's wrong with these surgeons? You'll never find a good surgeon because you're now focusing on the energy that keeps having surgeons that are not that good coming to you. If you get peaceful and ease, and easy about this, even a surgeon who wasn't that good is not going to do a great job on you because you're aligned with what it is you want to most see and experience and nothing more. Remember, focus on the grace, allow the pain to die of neglect. Focus on what you want and ignore everything else and let yourself see this not as botched, but as a way to move to further and further beauty inside out. Further and further connectivity, divinity out. And watch how your world starts to see. You might have relationships show up with people who appreciate you just as you are and love you just as you are. And that's what you always wanted in life, even more than the perfect nose or face or eyes or whatever it was. So it's a vibrational gap that you're experiencing. Let yourself get aligned with the divine and watch how the miracles are begotten around this one too. You'll not only be satisfied with your appearance, you'll be aligned with the divine and with your soul, which will make you appear just beautiful on every level and delightful on every level.